in Millennials and Money today, Mark Horner of Fairhaven Wealth Management joins us to talk about how a cup of coffee can lead to great riches. Awesome to have you on the show today. Good to be here. Okay, Mark, so you did a survey and you talked to some young people and what did they tell you? We, we did, so we tried to ask uh, young people how they would best uh, like to receive information about personal finance. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, back when I was in high school, I got absolutely no information and education about how to save for retirement. They don't teach it enough in school. They this don't. is a problem. You've yes. got to be lucky to get the, either the right family member or the right friend to get the information. And unfortunately, time is a huge ally, and so if you're wasting, if you're wasting time, in getting started saving for retirement, it's a huge penalty you pay. So they do want the information though, right? Absolutely, they were very clear when we, when we, asked, when we asked for their feedback, very clear. They're, they're not interested in sitting in classrooms, uh, sitting online for, for an hour long seminar. They want the information when they want to consume it and they want it in a concise fashion. So two, two to three minutes at most. Maybe a business first AM video would do the trick on Facebook. <laughs> All right, let's talk about how you do this. How do you turn a cup of coffee into a million dollars? So it's just math, it's just math. And so the, the, the concept, the finance concept is compound interest. And so what we did is we said, so if you started saving at age 20, the equivalent of a cup of coffee a day, so four or five, four or five dollars, and just stayed with that. Didn't increase it at all, and got a market return. You, you basically end up with a million dollars by the time you by the time you retire. That's now, terrific. So instead of going to Starbucks, you just take that four or five dollars and put it in a jar or well, put so, it in the so bank. So Starbucks is a big company. I don't want to make an enemy of Starbucks. Instead of going oh, we Starbucks, love Starbucks twice. You can still go to Starbucks okay. once. Okay. Just defer, just defer that second cup of coffee and put that oh. into your put that into your savings. There you go. They'll be happy with that statement. Okay. So you put it in savings, but from there you do want to get some great compound interest going, as you mentioned. So, what happens next? Well, so so then the next topic that we're talking about is what do you do with that money that's in there? And so a general education about the world of stocks and bonds. And you, you know, I think I think like maybe any industry, the jargon around an industry can be a little a little intimidating mm -hmm. and that's more feedback that we got from younger people that the that the language that gets used is is a little hard to a little hard to navigate. And so what we're trying to do is break it down that it's not it's not complicated, uh, but to get them invested in the right mix of stocks and bonds early and then and then stick with it. So they should speak with an advisor. Uh, yeah, so that's what that's what our job is. Now, now I'll tell you, not everybody uh, works chooses to work with an advisor. You don't have to work with an advisor, but that that is a big part of what we do with our clients, is educating them about the different the different options out there in the in the world of finance, so beyond stocks and bonds. You, and you mentioned that, and it's funny because they just did a survey, and they did find that people who are in that millennial generation they will talk to an advisor online. They don't want to actually even go to the office. They want to do everything online. Yes, yes. Which freaks me out because I have to see you <laughs> and know that you're at least, you know, not an alien. Yeah, and so there are, again, in our industry, there are lots of different ways to get this done. We're not, right. the, we're not the only solution. So there's robo-advisors out there where all you do is talk to a computer and mm -hmm. that's it. Uh, and then there are more full-service, people-oriented advisors like us where, where we want to interact with our clients face-to-face -face, or at least over the phone. Well, we loved having you here. It's a pleasure to be here. Everybody skip that second cup of coffee and see where you land in a few years. Good to have you here. Thank Thanks you. Thanks again. Thank you.